Hi, my name is Shayana Nixon, and today we're here with Mr. Muhammad. So, why is organizing important to you? Community building helps to make sure that we can get things stable again. Because a lot of times when we're seeing young people, children, you know, your age and older, getting involved in a lot of illegal activities, something is not right in home, something is not right in that particular community. So, you know, you know, you got friends that may bring that kind of, that, that kind of mentality to the school. And so what we try to do, especially for the organization I work for called Strong City Baltimore, is that we try to get communities stronger, but more importantly, we try to help to get people stronger so you can be the best person you can be. You can have the best community to live in, and most importantly, our city can get better. Well, I try to find different ways to listen to all the stakeholders, meaning all of the people who are included. So listening to the parents, the students, the teachers, community members, I try to find out what are the things that everybody disagree on and what are the things that everybody agree on and what everybody wants and what their needs are and try to plan something to make sure that um, I can provide those resources or those things to everybody. So, uh, so LBS stands for Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle. Um, LBS is a short uh, phrase for it. And so what we do, we do a bunch of advocacy for black people in the political arena. And so the way that takes shape is that, you know, a lot of things that black people experience in Baltimore is a result of, you know, racist policies that we need to advocate to change. And so the problem is that there aren't a bunch of groups like ours that advocate for that kind of stuff. And so what we do is that we go to Annapolis to change state law, and we go to City Hall to change local law, so that way black people can benefit and have a better quality of life. That's basically what we do. I work equally with the kids because I'm here all day and I've gotten to know majority of the children here, so I work a lot with them. And the parents, I really work with them when they come in and volunteer. A lot of them come in in the evening. So what do you do to try to save our youth and the community? Uh, I try to make sure that our youth have different opportunities that they are truly and honestly interested in or that may expose them to different opportunities or different things. Um, for instance, like this program that you guys that you're in right now with using um, STEM technology and channel media, visual arts and media to be able to express your voice or to be able to research things that matter to you and to be able to share just what your thoughts are and be able to learn in a creative way. Um, so I think that when we really engage our youth in a way that really means something to them or that shows them something new, uh, it definitely allows them the opportunity to just continue on with trying different things, whether they're in elementary school, middle school, high school, or when they become adults. So one of the things that I did when I was in high school, I did debate in high school and in college. And so part of what uh, I learned through doing debate was that, you know, it taught me how to advocate for myself in different arenas. And so what I do now is that I teach young student, uh, young people debate as a way to get them involved in politics. Because if you know how to do debate, not only do you know how to read and write and research and stuff like that, you learn how to be an advocate for yourself and you can become a leader in your own right down the line. And so for me, I think it's important to train young people in that activity of debate. So that way, as they get older, no matter what they're doing in life, they can be an advocate. So to me, that's a, that's a good way to get young people involved in advocacy and Politics is due to be. What do you do to build a relationship with our parent, with the parents in your community? Okay, um, that goes back to when I'm asking them to complete surveys or to give me information. It's not just about just asking them or like giving them a piece of paper. It's about actually getting to know them, actually lending and listening ears. So I try to listen first, um, let them listen and tell me all of the challenges that they believe they have, that they think other people have, that their child has. And just being trying to, you know, let them feel comfortable that I understand that I may have some of those same challenges or I may not and that we're in this situation together, so how can we move forward? And then I go on a search to find who can help with solving this, you know, bringing along, bringing along a solution or solve this challenge in any way. 
and then um, once we get parents to connect to what the real challenges are that they're having with their family or within the school, they become more engaged and they want to like be more involved and they want to help in any way that they can. So also letting them feel valuable and let them know that no matter what they can contribute or how they can help, everything that they can do is definitely helpful and no matter what their strength is or weaknesses. Well, from my position, the point of team building is to make sure that, like Tristan hit on, the community and the school to all come together and be on one accord with, and the parks, can't leave them out, to be on one accord with our children, being able to have this safe community and safe environment as far as school, and being able to, let's see, we want to get it from well, kids are, you know, we don't want a lot of them coming into school late or you don't want them to just feel like no one cares. So everybody has to come together to make them feel and understand that we do care. We want them to do better and to get better. So one way we try to get parents involved, like a lot of our students who finish the debate, what we try to do is, is get them involved in some of the political organizing work that we do. You know, it's kind of like what people were talking about with the heating issue in Baltimore, like not having enough like uh, uh, heat in classrooms when it was cold outside. And so a lot of parents, their first response is to go to the school board or the school CEO and be like, and to complain to them. When really what it's about is about resources being mismanaged. And if you want to change that stuff, you got to go to the state level. You got to go to Annapolis. And so if parents are frustrated about that, one way you would like to get them involved is to figure out how to be advocates for their, for their, for their kids by going to Annapolis and seeing how to change those laws. You seem like you're a studious little sister. Like you read and you probably do really well in school or, you know, you got a lot of great things. You got to stay on that path. And that's why I hope and pray that you do stay on that path because we need little sisters like you to be in the community, to be an example for other little sisters of who they can be. I don't have no problem with the, 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 the imagery that we, some of the imagery, I know sisters, you know, young black girls are going through a lot, but at the end of the day, we don't want you to be devalued because young girls turn into young women and young women turn into older women. So if you think like a certain way as a young girl and you don't change how you think as a young girl, you're going to become an older woman still thinking that way. And that's, that's going to be the sad part if you don't change. So you're saying like when we're in a controlled environment, our, our brain is more developed to that than and when we're in a crazy environment, it's like we just act crazy and like we act just like that environment. Hey, Chayon, you're pretty deep on this. Okay, okay, yeah, exactly.
more, one more, one more, one more, yeah. Build up one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, yeah. I'll pause it, 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 I'll pause it.